Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. If there's one thing I've learned from a Christmas cartoon, it's that it doesn't matter what's underneath the tree as much as the people around it. So today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making some Charlie Brown Christmas cookies. For my Snoopy doghouse cookie, I'm going to start by flooding the roof of the house in its classic red. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number two Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and flood the base of the doghouse and draw Snoopy's outline. Now I'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before I go in and flood the white part on Snoopy. Now we'll let these layers dry for 6 to 12 hours before we go in with some detailing as well as his ear. Before adding Snoopy's ears and stringing up his Christmas lights, I'm going to go in with some food coloring markers to add some detail. Now I'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before I go in and string up his Christmas lights. Now using some black piping consistency icing and some Christmas light candies, let's go ahead and string Snoopy's Christmas lights. You could also get this same effect by either piping or flooding the colors of the Christmas lights with a thin tip. To finish him off, I'll use some white piping consistency icing on the ground for snow and detail it with some snowflake shaped sprinkles. Snoopy's all done decorating for the holidays and is ready to relax. For our Charlie Brown, I'm going to start by flooding elements of his hat as well as his feet. For my piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm also using a number one Ateco tip. Now we'll let these layers dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and flood the rest of the hat and his shoes. Now I'll let these layers dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and flood his face and his pants. We'll let these layers dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and finish the rest of his flooding.
Now we'll let our flooding dry for 6 to 12 hours before we go in and complete Charlie Brown's detail. Now we'll finish up the detailing on Charlie Brown using some food coloring markers. Charlie Brown is all done and ready to find the true meaning of Christmas. For our Charlie Brown Christmas tree, we're going to start by flooding the entire surface white to give a nice canvas to draw the tree on later. For my piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a regular squeeze bottle where the tip would be about the size of a number three Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for 6 to 12 hours before we go in and start creating the Christmas tree. For my Charlie Brown Christmas tree, I've gone ahead with my overhead projector and a food coloring marker to mark some guidelines for my piping. Now I'll let these layers dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before I go in and do some more flooding. Now I'll let these layers dry for 6 to 12 hours before I go in and finish the rest of the piping and the detail for our Charlie Brown tree. Before I go in and add the pine needles to our Christmas tree, I'm going to use some food coloring marker to add some detail. All done. He really isn't such a bad little tree. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!